So you've seen the contrast between India and China, and you've seen how the Muslim world came to China's defense for ill-treating Muslims. Let me tell you what they have said about India. The OIC has urged India to, quote-unquote, ensure the safety of the Muslim minority and to protect the holy sites of Islam, like Babri Masjid. Let me read out from that statement. The General Secretariat of the OIC has been closely following recent developments affecting Muslim minority in India. It expresses concern over the recent developments pertaining to both the issue of citizenship rights and the Babri Masjid case. A belated, lame, half-protest at Pakistan's behest. This statement is not worth the paper it is written on because the OIC's bias shows. It's hypocritical and it's losing credibility. The OIC says it represents all the Muslims of the world. Well, India has the second largest Muslim population in the world and the OIC has denied India membership. But that doesn't stop this group from meddling in India's affairs. It had once appointed a special envoy for Jammu and Kashmir that amounted to nothing.